Welcome to the Tinker Nut Comment I Show. I wonder what will be in the intro of the comment show. Geez, not now. Just let me finish a my spiel comment. First. Never put a random comment in the comment we'll get show. Get to all that in a minute. First, just Look, let there's me a fly. finish. A nuclear bomb. Why can't you just let me finish? Let's be friends on Reddit. So after a long absence, I am finally back on Reddit. Here's my username. Here's the Tinkernut subreddit that Good Bean took over. Guys, come on. Let's get this party started. Exaggerate doesn't have a Z in it. Also, hi. Is there a Z in this sentence? Yes, there is. Seriously though, I'd actually misspelled the word with a Z and with only one G. And I started looking at it thinking, this doesn't look right, it looks misspelled. So I added an extra G and moved on. I'm not always the brightest tool in the oven. Please never say UF when referring to microfarad again. It's triggering. If hearing the pronunciation of two letters triggers you, you really should get some help. Okay, first of all, I really do sympathize with the commenters hearing me say UF for microfarad. In my normal everyman logic, this symbol is what represents microfarad. It's a symbol of mu, which is a Greek letter, and f. And since the letter mu is Greek, the English equivalent is u. That is why I said uf. And to me that makes logical sense, but I do not claim to be an electronics expert. So if an electronics expert says do not pronounce it this way, this is what you say instead, then I'm going to do my best to follow that rule. So from here on out, I'm going to say microfarad instead of mu f, uf, or any other derivative. If it's not too much effort, could you also upload the schematic at the project page on your website? Sure. Did you catch that? Just kidding. It's already up on the project page for you, and you can find that at the link below. How does Raspy Config know which pin to use? Is it hard-coded? Whenever we edited the boot command.txt file, we told the Raspberry Pi to force PWM audio through pins 18 and 13. So this is where that happened. Does this require an amp? Yes, it does, and I'm glad you asked because that's the topic for the next tutorial. Well, guys, another week, another new format. This format, however, does not require any animation. For the time being, it's the fastest way to get videos out without skimping on any of the content. So I think I'm going to be sticking with it for a while. Haven't you heard that line before? I also wanted your feedback on something. As you longtime viewers know, I really don't do sponsored videos that much. The primary reason is because most of the stuff they're trying to push doesn't fit you guys. It doesn't fit the audience. But what if I did find a good tech-related sponsor? Do you guys think it would affect the viewing experience too much if I gave them a shout out once or twice per video? Here's a poll to tell me what you think. Also, what do you guys think would be a good, unobtrusive, creative way to give shout outs in a video? For that, you can let me know in the comments below. All right, my friends, thanks very much for all the comments, and I'll see you all next week. I want to get in the comment show, but I can't watch the video because I'm at a Rubik's Cube competition.